How's it? How's it, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sanctum Gamer here, and I thought I would start today off on the main menu of City Skylines because guess what? We've got two brand new things that we've been waiting for for the longest of times. It's the map editor and it's Paradox Mods. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, I have been using mods, but I have been using it with the old fashioned way, which is mods before mods using the is it the BP, BP BEP engine X, whatever it's called. But what I've done now is I've gotten rid of all of that. And I want to, tr I'm going to basically show you that I've got all the mods via Paradox Mods. And this is actually much better because before I was resisting getting certain types of mods because I share my save game with my patrons. I did not want them to have to go down the mods route in order for them to be able to run the game. But now with Paradox Mods introduced, I can start exploring all the different mods that I otherwise did not touch. So what I've done is up until this point, I've gone ahead and I've grabbed myself a couple of mods. So Anarchy, Unified Library Line to the ones that I was using before, including Tree Controller. And I've also now got Plop the Growables and Move It. Now, Extra Landscaping Tools is also one that I had before, but I had the old version of it, which didn't have the additional textures and all that. So I've gone ahead and I've grabbed the latest version that is available to me via Paradox Mods. So now any mod that I like, as long as it's on Paradox Mods, I will grab it knowing that my patrons who get the save game, who like to explore it, will be able to also grab those same mods. So with that, let's get into the game. We're going straight back into Coral Reaches and let's see how everything if anything at all is different all righty welcome back to coral reaches so i'm glad to see that the game booted up without any problems everything still is the way we left it we have all of our custom parts that are still here i don't think i can ooh, nope that's the wrong thing so i need to go into extra landscaping tools Ooh, and already i see there's a difference. We used to have a tab here that had this icon on it. And that's gone. Ooh, 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 ooh. So all of the custom... What's this thing? I don't know if to call them paths or whatever that I put down to create like the beach, the like backyards around places all seems to now not be accessible to me so things like the farms that i'm able to create with lax extra landscaping tools it doesn't look like i can do any more with this new version which is quite a bummer i see that the resource tools are here which is nice so i can go ahead and i guess i can just paint down water in an area yes i can go ahead and ah this is awesome this one i like because now i can go ahead and add more of my fertile land exactly where i want it and then be able to build my farms all the way out this way so it everything doesn't have to be just animal farms and it's the same with oil same with all that is cool i also grabbed the what's this thing extra what water features that's what it's called but i have no idea how to use this yet i'll figure it out as time goes along i see we've got all kinds of new tools that i can play with Something that I haven't explored just yet. And I will worry about it later. And we've got Move It, people. Finally. So we can go ahead and we can actually start moving things. Yay. Oh, how awesome is that? That is amazing. And if I move a house. Oh, yes, I can move a house. But now it's going to complain. It's going to complain. Oh, no, 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 no. So if I unpause, does that help? No, but I think it's because this is not the plop the growables. <laughs> this is this is interesting. So now, when I moved it far enough, the game registered that there was nothing there, and it immediately started building a house. So, yeah, there are some small little things that we need to keep in mind when doing all of this. But I'm guessing if I had placed all of these down using Plop the Growables, 
it should have been fine so if i go ahead and get into the add objects menu and i search i think i should be able to just search for no i thought they appeared here as plop the gravels i guess i i guess i was wrong so if i go into the buildings menu and i look for residential let's say north american residential let's grab a two by six that's too big a two by four and i plop this down here does it stay yes it stays okay so i can plop the growables that way and i will not have a problem with it but i'm guessing these ones are problems because they are zoned in that space so cool that's something that i definitely need to note the only thing right now that i'm very sad about is the fact that i do not have my extra landscaping tools which oh that's that's a real bummer unless it's hidden somewhere else so it doesn't look like extra landscaping tools is in any of the other menus so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and see if i can mix paradox mods with the old bp engine x way of doing this so let me just let's see if i can get it to work all right so i think i don't have to get it to work i probably might need to update but with the existing bp engine x what thing that i have right now the game crashes when i try and use it so that's not gonna work anyways we are we are back in here everything is still running which is awesome something that i'm very happy about we've got the beach properties that now we can zone which is going to be an interesting one to have a look at and since we are building beaches in in this place i figured that will be a nice thing that we are going to be exploring now I want to build a beach town around here. However, I am not ready to move over to the site just yet. And that's a problem. So now I need to decide whether or not I'm just going to build as I had planned. Or if I'm going to try and just come through to the side and build some kind of beach area. Now, my issue right now is that because my extra landscaping tools does not have the ability for me to create the beaches so i don't have all those tools to be able to do that it doesn't make sense for me to go off and go and start trying to build something when i cannot create a beach like this over here so for this week i'm going to skip going into the details of trying to build a beautiful beach area and so on i'll resist that temptation I am pretty sure that there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be building beaches and you know beach property related things so <laughs> for me i am going to continue with my development as i want to do it or as i had originally planned it and that is to start off a town just opposite this area so we're gonna have another town over here that's going to be centered around a harbor like I mentioned, every single town that I'm going to have along the side is going to have a harbor. So, you know, do not be surprised when you see any of that stuff. Now, I do have a shipping route right here. And it does come very, very close to this landmass over here. Which, oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, the lighting is affecting how the route is rendered oh let's try this so if i go ahead and grab move it i see move it can is seeing it but because i can't see the path properly there's no point in me trying to go down that route at all so let me go ahead and grab oh, oh what's happening oh i'm not getting the oh there we go there it is i think there's a slight bug there I'm going to grab these tiles. Let's grab those. And let me just go ahead and grab these as well. Might end up grabbing a couple more as well. Because we're going to be going down this path. Oh, this is hard to see. All right. We'll grab those. And this town definitely is going to have the railway connection. And it's also going to have a road connection over here. And that's something that I need to figure out. But for now... What I want to do is that I want to start off with 
the basic layout of this town. I'm not sure how far we're going to get because honestly, I had not planned. I had not planned for this video at all because I thought, I don't know, some, some part of me thought I was not going to be able to, to record this week. And now here I am a day or a day before the video is supposed to go live and I'm trying to get something together. So I have zero plans for today, but you know what? Let's see what we can, we can get together and then we will i don't know we'll, we'll make the best of it right we'll make the best of it right now i think those boats are coming too close to that so let me send this land in a little bit more so this is where we're gonna have the harbor over on this side and then i think it can just end over there actually you know what we will go ahead and create a little, a little, what's, 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 what should I call it? Like a little enclosure similar to this one, right? But this, I want it to come in all the way. The brush is offset and that's not cool. There's like a weird offset on the brush, which makes all of this just a tad bit harder to do. All right, so we're going to have development on here. I'm thinking as I'm building this, that this could become the second biggest town in the region. That's what I'm thinking. And yeah, we can go ahead and basically expand it out. Maybe even put a college down in this town and see how the whole place turns out. All right, so with this, let's see what a harbor is going to look like if I was to place it in this area first I think let's go ahead and get rid of of all of these trees all right so we've got that let's where is my harbor okay cool great so this is nice and not too small not too big I'm just thinking should I put it yeah let's put it like so right up against the water let's shift it down a little bit boom and we've got that and i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it with the extra terminal over there and then i think we can then also go ahead and add add a path to it right the path has to come off the edge Okay, cool. It, it connects up quite nicely. It's a pity I can't connect in the middle. Oh, well, that's fine. Path can connect over here. It's going to be nice. Imagine you chilling over here and just watching these boats come into the harbor. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Cool. So that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set out the land a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. I Oh, that's too high. That's too high. See, that I do not want. I do not want these to be too high off the ground. So let me let me lower the, the land to this level and then we'll replace the, the harbor. So I want to connect up this rail line properly, right? And we currently have this existing one that I do not want. So let's go ahead and get rid of 
this existing one. Oh, I thought it would have deleted. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's not letting me delete. Oh, jeeps whiz. It looks like it's limiting. What in the world? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Ooh, my bad. That's my bad. It's because I do not have these tiles purchased. Where are the tiles? What is happening here? It says I've got tiles selected, but it's not showing it visually. Oh my goodness me. There's, there is something really funky with this new update. So I've purchased a whole bunch of tiles. I hope, I hope I've purchased the right thing. So, all right. So I see I can go and okay, great. I can get rid of everything. And now with that, I think, I think there are more tiles I need to buy like around here. Yeah, there are definitely some tiles here that I need to buy. Let's grab them because I, I I can't see anything. I don't know. I'm guessing this is some kind of a graphics glitch that has come as a result of the update. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to put the railway line. Which which is real? There's real. There's real. I want to go ahead and extend extend it from here. So we're going to go straight line and this is going to bend and it's going to come down in this direction, right? So the idea is that I'm going to have I'm going to have a town somewhere around here, so I'll connect up these ones via rail and then on this side, we're going to take this this railway line and i think i'm going to take it we're gonna go and okay so we can't go out that way because i haven't bought those tiles i think let's send it out in that direction i think this direction will make will make a little bit more sense or at least it'll it'll just look it'll just look cooler i think right i think yeah i think that should be fine if and when I buy the re the remaining tiles, we can go ahead and maybe change the direction. But for now, I think that works. So it goes out in that direction. So this one has an international line. And now I need to connect this one up to that side as well. So for that, we're going to have to get a few more tiles. So I should be able to grab all the tiles over here. Okay, there we go. I can see again. Yay. Let's grab these ones and all of these. Like I said, I'm going to get the, what's this thing, that mod to get all of these tiles. So I'm not stressing myself. It's so weird. I don't know when I can see it and when I cannot. Like you have to be positioned in a very, very specific area before you can see it. Let's get rid of this road. Cool. Now with that, we're going to first get this road to cross, right? And I want a bridge here. Something that I've wanted around this space is to get like a nice big mountain and then get the bridge to sort of come in like that. And then we're going to branch off in this direction and in this direction. But definitely wanted to put something really funky around this space because just a simple straight hill was to me was going to be very very boring so i thought i would give this place a little bit of life let's bump this up a little bit it kind of bothers me that this thing is so weird now all of a sudden i do not have the brush thing <laughs> isn't where the mouse is like <sighs> okay it is what it is it is what it is so let's go ahead, get ourselves a nice mountain around here. And I think that should be nice and tall. Yeah, I think we can bring it up a little bit around this area. And then with that, I can go ahead then and just smoothen all of this out. Uh, let's bump that up a bit. 
Let's smoothen it all out nicely. And hopefully it should look it should look decent, right? It should it should look decent. Let's let's have a look at that. Cool, great. So this is something that I can then get the road to come. We're gonna hit the mountain and then we're gonna do a nice bendy something. So let's go ahead, get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. We'll reconnect this just now. I believe there's a small little hill here. And if I look at the way this is, I think that works out nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna get rid of that. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to bring up the land a little bit around here so now i can send it down a little bit more let's decrease the brush size and let's just elevate the land a bit oh it's where the mouse is okay how's that it needs to be high enough that i can get a nice decent bridge across so that the the ships can still can still what's the word cross underneath it no problem so let's do a nice smooth like so and we have a nice ramp that goes all the way up great then i can go ahead which highway is this, this is the four lane highway let's grab the four lane highway and let me bend it like so in that direction and then I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I've got the direction correct. Yeah, looks like we've got the decent direction, but I see it's going down at this point. So let's remove that, get rid of that. And let's see if we can get the grand bridge. Is that there's the grand bridge. And let's see if this will cross nicely. Is it high enough to cross? It's not. Oof, that's a bummer. There, there we go. Now it's high enough to cross. Great. Ooh, there we go. I think that works out perfectly. And it should be high enough for all of our ships to be able to get under, which is great. Over here, what I want to do now is I want the road to sort of come around this way. And then come back underneath and i think that's gonna look kind of cool and without my road my extra road tools i i have to actually try and get the landscape to be exactly as i want it because i don't want it to be a bridge i want it to be a i want it to, to be on the ground so ground level how's that is that the right length height no maybe a tad bit lower great i think that's a good height so with that we can go ahead and just sort of level this whole area out and then once we build out the whole place we should be able to get it to be nicely on the same level then come and mark the ground level over here somewhere and then let's just do a nice smooth something like that let's do that one more time go wider and we should have a nice smoothing all right now we should be able to get the road get it 180 we should be able to get it to follow this bend like oh it's a bit too too much of a turn and i think I think we can stop it right here. I think that's fine. And that looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So then it's just a matter of landscaping around here. And over here, what I want to do is we definitely going to get, I'm going to make this a smaller, a smaller road, but I think it will bridge, right? I think it will be good to have, ooh, to have it sort of bridge over like around over here what's my height here eight yeah i think that works great that works nicely 
and let's just stop it right over on this side and then I can send it all the way back down to the ground level over here and then we can send it that way great stuff so now that will then go ahead and feed this area I think this is a crossing that oh you know what we've got can I elevate it so grab am I grabbing the node there we go there's the node page up and down there we go Ooh, we need to unbind things all right let me sort out my bindings there we go we can now increase and decrease our nodes we can go ahead and convert to just just a single highway just a single lane going like that I'm just realizing now that we'll need one of these and I will be better off if I make this. Let's decrease that. If I make this like a, if I make this perhaps merge in, in a way that is nice and smooth like so. How's that? Okay, that's a fairly decent merge. I think that works. And then we're gonna have one that just leaves this road and sort of comes in and merges with this one as well. All right, and I think that's also a nice smooth merge. Yep, that works out very, very nicely and i will go ahead and sort of extend it out in that direction okay cool so that's that it will make sense for it rather to be one lane as opposed to two right one lane as opposed to two will make more sense like that we can then go ahead and say we will let's start from here Ooh, let's get the land to be that height and then I, we can go ahead and just do a nice smooth blend down to it and then we can go ahead and merge it out but it doesn't look like i'm gonna get a nice smooth merge Ugh, that's so sad okay that's decent and the only thing that's left is a decent merger from this side. Oh, nope. I shouldn't have stopped clicking. This side all the way to that side, right? All the way to that side. This road, I think we should be able to get a nice smooth merge into this over there. Cool. So we've got an intersection. Let me blend out the landscape and let's see how all of this place basically looks like. So we've got the road coming in. Beautiful bridge. I love it. I love it. I love this grand bridge. I think it looks great. What I haven't done yet is reconnect up this road. And this is something that I want to do now. Looking at the way this is, this is going quite uphill, right? So I'm going to change the direction of this road. And we're going to send it over here now I see there's a slight hill here but that's fine I think if we can get this road to just meander its way around around these farmlands over here in a nice way I think that will be all right so go ahead and bend it this way and then I think we can just bring it over to streets to join over here 
and i think that should work out very nicely i think let's just give it a few turning lanes and then we will be good all right so we've got that it's sort of making its way around a like a little hill or mountain oh this is actually very nice it goes up the hill or up the yeah up this little hill back down again and then goes over to connect which i like very very much i love it when the road is not just flat and i find that very boring even though i have many comments from people in places like the netherlands and so on saying yeah for them that is their reality so yeah you know what different strokes different folks different parts of the world we all experience different things but in the end i love to have my my landscape more dynamic i find the flat landscapes rather boring personally so i'd like to add as much dynamism as i possibly can to all the builds or at least all of my landscapes and so on all right at this point i think everything is connected well enough i can go ahead and unpause the game and any cars that i use in here should be should be able to move in and out no problem the only thing i'm waiting for now is for a ship to come through and we've got this boat and the clearance is perfect great stuff in future when custom assets come out and they will, can no longer fit here well then we'll deal with it then i must be honest i'm not a happy fan with this thing crossing i think i really think i should make it go this way but right now this is too sharp a turn and i'm just too lazy to go and modify this so for now it will have to do it puts us in a space where we can then go ahead and connect all of this up to this road and then i think we're in a great spot to continue oh i love this i love the fact that i've got some electricity coming from here so we'll probably extend this one over and bring it out into this town So with this new town now connected up to this road over here, I've, I've laid down a couple of roads, sort of the start of the residential area that I plan on building around here. And I'll probably keep the main city in this area. This will mainly be residential. I was looking around and I realized that the Grand Bridge, it actually has space for a... A train track underneath here right i mean we could fit a train track right underneath there if we really wanted and now that we have moved it i see no reason why we shouldn't be able to do that so i figured i'm going to do exactly that but at the moment i am not feeling <laughs> i'm not feeling like fighting with roads right now because i want to convert this to like bridge to like a bridge so that i can lower the road here and allow the train track to come out in this space back over the bridge and i'm thinking it will go all the way around i'll change the angle of this one and then have it connect up to here like that but i noticed that when i activate move it 
even when I select a node, right, it's stuff has, is not highlighted nicely. So it's hard for me to see if I have the right thing selected or not. And in the absence of this sort of highlighting, it makes it really, really difficult to actually move to use the move it node. Ugh, man, the move it mod. But I don't think it's a move it issue. I think this has got something to do with the game because when I go into the tile buying thing, I mean, I can't even see... I can't even see the tiles. I, like, look how low... I have to come all the way down to be able to even see which tiles... Are. I, I don't know what is going on here. This must be some kind of a gra graphics glitch. So if anybody has experienced this and they know why I'm not seeing any of this stuff, please let me know. Because it's not just that. Even when I open up the transport menu and I go into ships, I mean, you can you barely see the parts. You have to look at it from a very specific angle before the parts show up. And that is quite annoying. Like, look at that. It's all gone. And so it's it's proving a bit of a... It's proving a little bit iffy to build. Anyways, I also realized that if I open up the add objects menu and I search for surface. I'm able to get all of these surfaces that the landscaping, what, what's it called? Extra landscaping tools made easy to access. So for now, when it's not available in, in the menu, I will continue to use it from here. But as of right now, I'm not happy with the fact that I'm used to using certain mods like the key mod and and stuff to make my life easy, which I don't have. So if I go ahead and try and what's the word? Try and get the ground all the way up to the road. I don't like the way that looks right. I want this to be a key. And when I'm not seeing the niceness of the game, I'm not I don't feel motivated to build. I really am not feeling motivated to build. So instead, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave this episode at this. I don't think I'll go any further with, with what I've done so far. And until I get my mods that allow me to create my keys easily, and hopefully these visual glitches get sorted so that I can finish off the real line, what I will do is that I'll continue expanding out probably in the surrounding areas now that I know how to build all of my farmlands. So continue to build out the, fa the, the landscape the way I had envisioned it initially. And then as soon as possible when we can, we'll go back and continue expanding here. One of the things I also want to do is boot back into Scattered Island and see if I, there's any improvement in the performance. And then maybe, just maybe we might build something there. But yeah, here's where we are at. We've connected up the first set of railway lines. It's connected to the outside world, which is fine. The idea is that this line is going to connect up this town. It is going to connect up the main town and it will probably connect up an area or two over here. We're going to have this sort of like branch off from this main line, which will probably come around to another town over here. I don't know. I will see. But the most important thing is that we've got the, the bare bones in place. You have an idea of how it's going to go around into this area and we've got electricity going. I haven't run water and sewage here yet. What I'm planning to do is to build its own water and sewage treatment over here, which will feed pretty much all the towns on this side. And then we'll expand on this one, probably make it a little bit bigger and let it feed all of this side. But yeah, everybody, I think that is it. So it's not much progress today. I do apologize. The DLC really got me all messed up. It's actually the reason why I didn't release a video this past Friday because I was meant to and it I just, I, yeah, it didn't happen. So ah, thank you so much for watching. I still appreciate this. <laughs> I'm sure in the coming days, weeks, we'll get things going. I, I'll just work with what I've got for the next video and we'll just keep expanding out on on coral reaches so yeah please be sure to hit the thumbs up if you at least liked something about today's video you know leave a comment let me know what you would like to see i've not been able to attend to the comments as i've been doing in the past and i do apologize for that i, I will be making a bit more time to attend to those in the very very near future Big shout out to all of my patrons for all the extra supports that you show, including my YouTube members. Your extra support is truly, truly appreciated. 
there isn't really much to show in today's video so i hope you enjoy this aerial view of coral reaches and i shall catch you all in the next one cheers <laughs>